Yo, what is going on everybody, it's Ace Trend Ninja here today, my dudes, for a brand new battle video for your viewing pleasure. Hopefully, you guys are hyped and will enjoy this video with all of your potential joyedness that you could possibly have on anything at any time ever. Drop a like. <laughs> make, sure, make sure you hit the like button, guys, if you do enjoy the video. Today, we'll be battling against my buddy FlameX. I know we have battled him before, and I'll probably have another battle with this team against somebody we've also battled before, because these are just the two battles that I've happened to have had that were just the best. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys and show them off. Um, so, yeah. That's, um... Probably was gonna be happening. So if you guys are hyped, drop a like down below for me. Like I said, subscribe if you're new around here and share this video with a friend. But with that, guys, let's get started with the battle. Now, looking at his team, you guys already saw, he might have noticed actually, he had a, a Nihi Lego and a Garatina. And a potential Mega Blaze again. So we have a lot of things we have to try and take care of with this team. So I figured he might want to leave with a Nagaganadel if he wants to set up rocks. So I went ahead and led off with King Henry over here. Uh, just so I can go ahead and earth power this thing. He expected me to want to set up toxic spikes the way that I led with it, but nope. I just didn't want that Nihi Lego to get set up. Nope. I didn't want rocks on my field. I mean, I have a rapid spinner, but still, I don't want rocks on my field. He had two options to switch in on my rapid spinner, so that was just, that would have just been a whole lot of more headache that I didn't need. But anyway, he's gonna, I'm gonna kill that thing, and he's gonna bring in Polytoad. Probably Wrath, rather. And I'm gonna just swap out here into good vibes, expecting a potential water type attack, but he wants to go ahead and try and put me to sleep. Which I really didn't expect, but that's totally fine. I, you know, I can I can handle that, I guess. I'm gonna knock off whatever he has. He happens to have a citrus berry, and he's looking like he's a pretty fat boy. Um, I guess he just wants to put me to sleep and then maybe power up punch me and just get set up, I guess. I really don't know what this Polyrath is trying to do, but it's kind of scared me. Uh, so I want to try and take care of this thing as quickly as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fire off an earthquake this thing. As he does, it managed to put me to sleep on the third try. You know, he, he tried, man. He just keep going. He never gave up, and I appreciate that. But now Good Vibes is asleep, and so now I have a sleeping toad on my team, and now we have a little bit of a problem. So I'm going to switch into D's nuts, uh, nice big old chestnut over here, and kind of see what this thing wants to go for. He decides to actually swap out into his Gliscor, though, um, on the same turn that I switched my Pokemon. So I guess he wanted to get the Gliscor in on me. Uh, I don't know really what he wanted to do doing that, but... I guess we'll figure that out. Uh, but anyway, he bring in the glass score, and I'm gonna go ahead and just set up some stealth rocks right in this glass score's face. I know there's nothing he can really do to hit me for any really big damage. I know I'm gonna be able to eat up his earthquakes. He can't toxic me, you know, none of that kind of stuff. He did try to toxic me, toxic me first turn. I think he forgot I was a part steel type, but um, he, he was he was very. <laughs> we were actually talking in the Discord chat as I, as we were battling. By the way, guys, join the Discord if you guys want to battle me. I'll drop a link in the description. Make sure I add that down there. Uh, if you guys want to challenge me to battles at any point and you're not around the channel for the streams or you can't come to the streams, that's the best way to hit me up for a battle. Anyway, he's going to bring his, his, his Blaze in here. It's not Mega yet. Uh, <laughs> spoiler alert. Uh, I'm guessing he just wants to flame kick me in the face and try and take care of me, but I am going to be able to get up two layers of, st of uh, Toxic Spikes, so now anything he wants to bring in is going to be put on a timer. I know he does have a potential defogger with his uh, Giratina, but I, I wanted to just to take, take, take the chance and say that he does not have a defog on that thing. But I'm not going to stay in here just in case I do have to set up things again. And I'm going to go out into my Primarina. This is the Liquid Voice Primarina. I nicknamed it Shakira. It's a beautiful Pokemon. And I'm trying to do the absolute most work with this boy. It's a, or it's a girl. This girl. Um, I wanted to utilize Liquid Voice. There's not very many good options for utilizing Liquid Voice. You're really better off running Surf. Or something like that but um I, I did actually run liquid voice hyper voice so I do have a water stab hyper voice which is interesting to run um, it's really not that great but I wanted to use it anyway because it's new and I wanted to give it a shot um, but anyway, he's just going to protect and protect from the, um, the Hyper Voice, and at this point he knows that I'm probably running Liquid Voice with Hyper Voice, and he's probably not sure what the hell I'm doing because it's not the best set to run. <laughs> but um, He's going to go ahead and put his Baton Pass here, which is actually illegal in Smogon format. Uh, we did talk about that in the chat afterwards. He, he, he realized he was wrong, and he can't eat bad, and he apologized. But, um, and it actually comes in handy with his Mimikyu. He actually gets a lot of kills with his Mimikyu, because I was unprepared, but he was, he swapped into Mimikyu expecting to be able to just be completely immune to the Hyper Voice, not knowing that it got the water typing thanks to my Liquid Voice, and, um, he does take a little bit of, uh, residual damage there as well as I knock out the, um, 
be disguised, but he's just gonna pop me with a wood hammer and it's gonna be fine. She carries down. I didn't really have much I wanted to do to her uh, with her. I could not outspeed the Mega Blaze again, and nothing else on the team was really gonna be scared of Shakira. I guess the Giratina, maybe, but I did have other answers for that, so I was I was not really that worried about keeping Shakira alive. I'm gonna bring in Killer Wasp here, completely misplaying and being a dumby dumb. I don't know why. I completely forgot that he baton passed into the Mimikyu and didn't hard switch. I forgot the Mimikyu was guaranteed to outspeed me after two speed boosts, and that's Killer Wasp down. I, I sent him in to die. I really didn't play Wasp well there. I felt really bad. That There's been multiple times I've misplayed my Killer Wasp it, in in the battles of the past few days. It's sad, honestly. It's just... He, did, he didn't get to do much at all. He came in, he showed his face, and he died. Anyway, I'm going to bring in my chestnut over here just to try and eat some hits. I, I should have done this to begin with. I knew for a fact he hadn't set up any attack uh, any attack boosts, boosting moves, and I knew I could eat whatever he wanted to go for and go for a gyro ball to kill. I don't know why I didn't do that to begin with, but that's what I did now. And the Mimikyu's down, no longer a threat. Um, of course, he was poisoned and he was on a timer anyway, which was amazing, but I really should have gone into Chestnut before. He's going to bring back in the Mega Blaziken, though. He's going to take a little bit more Stealth Rock damage, which is lovely. Just whittling this thing down is really all I can ask for at this point. I'm going to let Chestnut go down to the Blaze Kick because I really don't think I need him around anymore. Uh, I I don't think that keeping my, hazard, my hazards around are really the highest priority for me at this point in the game. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and just, you know, he's, he gets a speed boost and all that kind of stuff. He's a speedy boy. He's looking threatening as hell. And I'm gonna bring in Bojangles because I'm really just hoping I can live one hit and get this Z move off. I am running, um, Komonium Z Komoa, which I know is illegal in the UU format. And this is supposed to be a UU team, but, um, I, I was battling a bunch of t Ubers and OU teams and all that kind of stuff anyway. So I, w I didn't feel that bad about it. But I did have a few UU teams that I battled that I did kind of feel bad after the fact. Um, I, I, I realized after the stream the other night that I that I was not allowed to run this technically in the UU format, so I felt kind of bad about that. But I am gonna go ahead and just um, pop up the Z move just so I can get my stats boosts. I know I can I know I can take out the Mega Blazing with this, and I'm hoping that I can just kind of sweep the rest of his team with my Komowo at this point. Uh, Komowo is looking like my trump card. I actually forgot to put a secondary dragon stab move on this thing, though, besides uh, clanging scales. I am max speed, max attack, instead of max speed, max special attack. So I can get the Z clanging scales, and then I have to go for either Earthquake, Ice Punch, or Karate Chop, or something like that. Oh no, Close Combat. Um, yeah, that's, that's the moves that I'm running on this thing right now. So I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna have to Ice Punch this thing, which does not get stab, and it does not quite KO. I don't even think a stab move would have KO'd. Maybe Outrage would have KO'd, but... Uh, then I would have been locked into Outrage, which I guess would have been fine. That's all his fairy types are down, but yeah, that, that's what happened. So I'm going to die to a Draco Meteor, which is sad because I was really hoping Bojangles would be able to come through and just save this battle for us. But it didn't happen that way. It turns out that uh, King Henry over here is going to have to come in and try and do some work. He's going to Ice Beam this thing right in the face. There's going to be plenty of damage to take out of this thing at this point. It is below half, and I am Life Orb. I am Life Orb and Sheer Forced, so I'm just going to be doing so much damage to these things. Uh, he does have the glide score left, which could have been potentially annoying if I wasn't rocking a specially offensive Henry with Ice Beam. So that's going to be able to pretty easily take care of the glide score. And his last Pokemon now is the Poliwrath, who might be able to come in and put some to put something to sleep if I didn't preserve my sleeping Pokemon in the back. And he does like to listen to that Smogon rule, apparently, Mr. Flamex over here. <laughs> he, uh, he does not want to try and put me to sleep, but it doesn't matter because I'll speed anyway and I can take him out with a Sludge Wave. So that's going to be GG. That was a good battle. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the battle. Uh, Flamex, I know you put your heart and soul into this battle. You tried your damnedest, but... Uh, you didn't quite pull it off. I was very afraid of that Mimikyu after the speed boost and the baton pass from the Mega Blaze again, though. That was that was a th very frightening thing to have to deal with. Uh, I really didn't know what I was going to do with that thing if it wasn't. I have no idea what I would have done if I didn't have the hazards up, actually. Now that I think about this, now that I'm saying this out loud, I don't think that there's a way I would have gotten around them without the hazards up, so that's that's something. But, um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below for me. Really does help out a lot. Subscribe if you're new around here and share this video with a friend. Check out Flamex's Twitter. I'm going to link it in the description. He's a cool guy. Uh, come join the Discord if you guys want to battle with me or Flamex or any of us hanging out in the Discord. You guys can do that. Linked right down below. But with that, guys, I'm going to get about. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.